Have you got your Christmas shopping done yet? Me neither. <laughs> well, today we're going to make personalized keychains. This is great little gifts that you can give friends, family, co-workers, and it's very easy to make on the scroll saw. We're going to use a stencil that is a free download available from Steve Good's great blog over at scrollsawworkshop.blogspot.com. YouTube won't let me put links to other websites up. So what I'm going to do down in the description or right here, I'm going to put a link to my blog where you'll be able to click, click over and then go straight to his site. It's a free download. It's a dandy little stencil uh, maker. And you can also use it to make uh, desk plaques and things like that with names on it or whatever you like. So uh, be sure and check that out. And a big thank you to Steve Good for creating that and making it available to the scroll saw community. It's something every scroll sawer needs to know about. So now let's get to it. I've gone ahead and taken the patterns and put spray adhesive on there and put them onto the wood. The next thing I'm going to do is wrap everything with clear packing tape. And then I'm going to take and I'm going to size for the, the actual hole that the split ring will go through and drill that out on the drill press. And now it's time to drill pilot holes. And now it's time to begin the scroll work. You know, at times like this, you can really appreciate coworkers with short names like Joe and Eli. Now that I've got all of my keychains cut out that I'm going to give out, I'm going to go ahead and sand both sides, kind of smooth them out a little bit as well. Then I'm going to dip them in boiled linseed oil, which will seal the wood and give it a nice, uh, beautiful finish. And then we can put the uh, split rings on. If you wanted to go a step further, you could spray them with uh, clear spray lacquer, to give them a, a little bit harder shell. But I think the boiled linseed alone is going to be just fine. And I've got. I've only got a few days, so I need to let that dry out, and then uh, we'll be giving them out for Christmas. Now I poured out the boiled linseed oil over these pieces, and now I'm just going to take a rag and make sure that it's each piece is thoroughly soaked on both sides, and it gets into all the pores, into the nooks and crannies, and all that good stuff. I can take this deeper reservoir and I can actually put it in there and flip it. You know, if I had enough, I could really just do it like that. But once I've got them dipped and I'm confident that uh, everything has been coated, what I'm going to do is just set it up high here and move to the next one. And then when we get done with that, I'll get an air compressor out and I'll blow out the uh, remaining residue, give it a couple of wipe downs in between. And then we can hang them up and let them dry. I'll just use uh, coat hangers to hang them on. Well, it's the next day and all of our pieces have dried out nicely. Now it's time to just put the split rings on and we'll be done. Well, here we are with the finished product and I also have some split rings. I bought a package of 10 of these at Walmart. Uh, I think they were less than a buck 50. Might have been right in that neighborhood. But now all we gotta do is open this up and work our piece in and then they'll be able to put their keys on here or do whatever they like with it but there you have it folks easy little stocking stuffers that you can make also good for craft fairs big thank you to steve good and his website at scrollsawworkshop.blogspot.com for coming up with this great stencil pattern uh, check out his video on it right here 
And this is Reagan 971. I wish y'all a very Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year, and thank you so much for watching.